All right, hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is gonna be an interesting one. I had this part filmed already, my intro, but as you'll see further on in this video, I had a lot of trouble with the audio, so we're back, yeah. So, in this video, we're gonna do something a little interesting. This is actually gonna be part one of this series. We're gonna be growing shaped fruit. Now, you find it a lot online. You can look it up, like square watermelons and like the Buddha-shaped pears and stuff. They do this in Japan and China, they grow shaped fruit. So when my watermelons that I planted grow, I really wanna try growing a square watermelon. So in this video, we're gonna start off by putting molds around peppers so I can test it on the peppers. Obviously peppers aren't the same as watermelons, I know that, but that's what we have growing right now. And I figure since I have a lot of little baby peppers growing, I can take a couple of them and just do tests. So that's what we're going to do. So stay tuned and let's see how I'm going to put these molds on these peppers, guys. All right, guys. So just a little heads up. This was filmed after I already did all this. Um, I guess my camera just decided not to film the audio. So that's cool. <laughs> so I figured I'd just give you a little peek of how I made like the holes in the cap and stuff. Um, it's not really that complicated. I just figured I'd show you. I just figured I'd show you. So you can see the little containers right there. I drilled a bunch of eight inch, eight inch holes all around the cap. So it will act like kind of like a greenhouse. And then I just drilled a half inch hole where the pepper goes through. And like you saw, I just made a little snip in the side of where the threads would be just so I could slip it over the pepper which you'll see further along in this video I just want to apologize I had me drilling and doing everything but the audio just didn't record so unfortunately we didn't get that all right guys so we got a couple little ones we have this one we have this one we have this one um, I'd like to try to get it on this one right here can. So let me see if I can get our little lid over them. No. Alright, so I think I'm going to have to do like what I said. I'm going to make a slit here and stick it through and then I'll tape it and screw this bottom on. Then stick something under here to hold it up. So let me go find something. All right, guys, so got these little snips. So I'm just gonna snip up. And just like that. So now you should be able to separate the pepper away from the leaves. I should be able to carefully get this on the pepper. There it is. All right, so that's around the pepper. So we have to find something to hold this up. So I think it's gonna sit like that. So we need to get something to put underneath here. So let's find that before we do anything else. Alrighty guys, so I just got this little pot that I'm gonna pop down right here. I think, yep. Now, let's screw this on. So I'm pretty sure necessarily right now, I probably won't need the electrical tape, but once the fruit starts to expand, it's gonna be a lot harder to close that little slit. So, I'm just gonna put this on here. It's not the prettiest thing in the world because I have to be very gentle, but it's not terrible. All right, so 
Got that on there. All right, guys. So, and I'm gonna bring you inside and I'm gonna show you a couple other containers that I got for other things and we'll get done with this video. Let's go. All right, guys, so aside from the pepper that we put in the cylindrical container, I decided to use up one of the other containers that I bought as well, and I'll show you the other one that I got for the watermelons and pumpkins. But I decided to put this little heart-shaped one on a pepper as well. This pepper is a lot smaller than the other one, so what I had to do was I drilled an eighth inch hole, there's a little stem coming out of the container, through, and then I stuck the pepper in and just kind of loosely zip tied it around and then stuck a rock underneath. So it's held in place. I'm not sure if this one's gonna work. I'm actually not sure if either of them are gonna work, but it's just like a test run because like I said, when my watermelons grow, I kind of want to try to grow a square watermelon. And like I said, there's literally no information online on how to do this. I see them and all I can get is that they grow them in Japan and I'm like, there's no way that I couldn't do that here. So, this is just kind of like a trial run. I mean, obviously peppers aren't the same things as watermelons, but we're gonna try anyway. So, let's do that. All right guys, so I already showed you the heart-shaped container and that I decided to put it on another one of the pepper plants, but this is the last container I got. And let me put it down so I can show you. It's actually just like a baseball display case and it's plastic. Kind of like plexiglass. So my idea is that I'll cut, I'll, same thing, I'll drill some holes, probably in the underneath here, because we already have like a little thing to hold the baseball in there. So the bottom's gonna be a little wonky anyway. So I figured this is where I'll put the bloom or the little piece of fruit inside, since we already have a little bit of a normally in there but I think this is a perfect little square the watermelons I'm growing are mini watermelons so this might be too small but it'll just be a test one they have bigger ones so if this one doesn't work I'll just get a bigger one and try again but this won't be in the garden for a while because like I said I guess supposedly watermelon plants take like up to 80 days to grow to maturity before they start developing fruit so, like I said, uh, these are just tests. Um, just tests to see how this works and see if we can actually do it. Uh, so, yeah. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little chaotic. Um, so this is gonna be a series. I'll give you updates on how the peppers or when I get to the watermelons or the pumpkins are doing. Um, obviously it's gonna take a long time I just did this today but I'll keep you updated it's gonna be a series I just thought it was really cool because you can't really find in, any information on how to do this we were talking about it last night I said to my mom I was like you know how you see people that grow the square watermelons and she's like yeah that's cool so we're looking for them you can get the molds but they're like kind of expensive so I'm trying to like do something that's not as expensive I guess um, plus you have to order them from China, which isn't a big deal at all, but it takes a long time to get here and the fruit's already starting to grow. So we want to do something that can, we want to do something that we can start now. Um, next year, maybe that's another option to order some of the molds, but this year it's not because apparently we're just thinking of doing something late this year. Like everything we're like, oh, we'll plant the plants late. We'll do everything late. Whatever. It's fine. I hope you guys can hear that thunder. It's about to downpour here, so. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you find it interesting, and I hope it, it's gonna help anybody who decides to do this. Hopefully it works. Like I said, I'll keep you updated. But I hope someone else who likes yarding finds it as interesting as I do. All right, guys, if you like this video, give me a comment down below, like the video, and subscribe if you want. I'll see you all next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.